Welcome to Migrate for Compute Engine AWS2 GCP. In this video, we are going to look into how to migrate your VM from AWS to Google Cloud. There are several steps involved in this, like uh, building a virtual private network between AWS and GCP, setting up a migration manager, and uh, using Velastrata UI to uh, create a migration wave to transfer your AWS to GCP. This is a step by step doc with uh, everything. We have also provided you the common errors and the solution and the reference. You can look into this. Uh, let me walk you through some of the important steps. Like uh, the first step is what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, create a virtual private network between AWS and GCP. Basically, it will create some kind of tunnel. Uh, so that uh, it's a tunnel for hybrid cloud computing wherein uh, you are creating a tunnel to move your data from AWS to GCP. How you can do it? You can do it manually, but Google has provided uh, us with some Terraform script. You can use it. What it does it, it will create a AWS instance. It will create a compute engine. It will create a AWS network as well as the custom VPC uh, in Google Cloud or in AWS Site 2. Finally, it will create a appropriate firewall rule. If you are wondering how this is happening, you just go to your VPC network and check uh, GCP network. It's created by this Terraform script. You can go, you can see how, how it's working, what are the firewall rules and everything. Finally, you need to prepare your environment. Uh, these are prerequisites to set up the credential and everything. These are all self-explanatory steps. Now, uh, you, uh, so for this AWS EC2 instance, we have a one uh, instance, which is like uh, this instance. Once it's done, it's automatically stopped. So this is an instance which we are using AWS uh, VM. How? We, we need to configure something before we move in like we need to SSH it and we need to install a few of the software like uh, kernel driver for migrate for compute engine otherwise it will give you some error so just uh, go inside it and for testing purpose just uh, put a hello.txt so that you can validate it once it is done uh, next step is to create a service account you can uh, do it and then finally you need to set up a migration manager what what it does it it will create a, a, a vm here it is it will create a vm instance compute engine just go there grab the ip address and log in it it will uh, give you the dashboard like this uh, the password is which you have just provided the username is API user. Here it is. So uh, this is where you need to provide your source cloud, target cloud and everything. Uh, once you have provided your source cloud, source cloud will be AWS, target cloud will be GCP. And finally, the uh, finally go to migration wave and create your wave. All the steps are already provided here. Just follow it. If you have, uh, if you are facing any error, there are few common errors which we have provided. But again, Google is your best uh, teacher. And finally, once uh, it will take around one, uh, one to two hour to uh, fully complete your migration. Once you, once you are done, you will have a full migration succeeded. How you can validate it? There are uh, few ways. Like one is go to your VM instance. You will see AWS VM is. You will see all other uh, VM which is like uh, which is used by uh, Velastrata manager. And finally, what you can do is you can simply uh, SSH into this VM and check your file. Here it is. Here is what I am doing. Finally, do this. Here it is your hello.txt. So, like, it's there. And if you go to your EC2 instance, you will see that your instance is automatically stopped by migration manager. So, this is it. Thank you, everyone.